All right, here we go. I hope everybody's doing great. We are live. The name is Jose Trujillo. I'm an artist. I am the world's greatest living artist, actually. I happen to be that. Look at that. Here we go. So today I'm going to paint for you guys some eucalyptus trees in, in the very uh, style that I love. I cherish this style a lot. It's the, well, it's not necessarily a style, but it's a theme that, that uh, gets passed. It's been passed on for many years. It's the California Impressionist uh, eucalyptus trees. So here we go. Normally this type of scenes are painted plain air, which means open air, in the outdoors, but there is no wrong or right way of doing it. Uh, a lot of the studies are painted that way, but also the, the finished products, the finished paintings, the larger paintings are painted in studio. There's, there's definitely no wrong or right way of doing it. I love the, the how the eucalyptus trees have this uh, sort of little expressions happening throughout the tree. It's a very different type of tree, of course, right? They have these little expressions happening. What I mean by that is that they have these little pockets, right? They're extremely expressive which make them very interesting in color and and um, in uh, movement right to the expression itself it's very it's very cool I love it and this is how I'm going to start painting this now here's one little trick guys those of you out there who have a hard time painting for whatever reason, let's say that you have a hard time painting, um, you're going through an artist block or, or any of those things that people talk about, I'm going to tell you what happens, guys, okay? If you are going through because I go through that from time to time. If you are going through that, there's only one cure, only one cure, okay? The cure, of course, is that you got you must continue to paint regardless of, right? Of course. But... Many times what happens is that we continue to paint, but we still don't know, do not get out of the artist block, okay? Even if we continue to paint, but the, 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 the recipe for sure is to continue to paint. But this is how you get out of it, guys. I'm going to tell you right now, because I know a lot of people, a lot of people have go through this. I go through this myself from time to time, but I know how to get out of it. And, and this is what happens, okay? You've lost attention to what you're doing you've lost the attention okay if you're going through an artist block or anything like that really what happens is that you've lost attention the whole thing about creating art is attention and there is some sort of anxiety happening if you if you're if you're if you're going through an artist block what happens is that you're, you're, you're essentially, you're really just getting ahead of yourself. That's really what happens. You're getting ahead of yourself and you're trying to eat the whole apple in one bite. Okay. You're trying to paint the painting quicker than you need to. And you're not really paying attention because, you, because you're, you're, you're in your head. It's really what's happening is that you're in your head. You may be experiencing a thinking a lot about something. So the way to get out of it, guys, is to recognize that that's what's happening. First of all, you have to recognize. You have to, you, have to, you have to really just recognize that that's what's happening so that you can create some change. And the way to get out of it is by going very slow. You're really outside of time. I talked about this in other videos. What happens is that you've gotten outside of time. You're ahead of yourself. You're not really. You're not really here. So when you don't feel like you're really here in time 
in, in, in this space, you're in your head, you're somewhere else. What happens is that you're avoiding whatever you're doing. That's what artist block is, guys. I've never really been able to articulate it and explain it in a better way than that. You're, you're ahead of time. And you can't be ahead of time. Life doesn't work that way. You have to get back here. You have to, you have to get back here and you have to enter it very slow all over again. Because really what happens is you're avoiding what you're doing. That's why you can't paint. You're avoiding it. Because there's a worry in your mind or there's something happening in your mind and you're avoiding the whole, the whole thing. It happens to me from time to time and I have to reel myself back in. Really, another way of putting it is you're not enjoying what you're doing. You're not enthusiastic about what you're doing. You want to get it done. You want to get it over with because there is no enthusiasm. You've lost, you've lost the enthusiasm, which in other words, you, you've lost the, the divinity aspect of it, the divine aspect of it. I know I'm talking a little bit esoteric here, but you've lost the, 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 the aspect that makes it worth doing. Renoir had talked to us about that already. He said, "If I didn't, if I didn't, if I didn't enjoy it, I wouldn't do it." He didn't say if I didn't enjoy it, like like if I wasn't happy or whatever. No, what he was what he was saying is, there is no point in doing it unless unless you are experiencing the joy of it. Not necessarily just the happiness, but there's a there's a peace associated with it that brings about joy. You're not just happy. You're not like oh yeah. You're not excited. In other words. There's a joy happening and that joy happens because, because you're out of your mind and you're fully in, in the activity. You're fully in the activity. It is the same reason why so many artists lose, lose faith in their work. You're, you're losing... You're losing faith in your work, not because you don't enjoy your work, but because you're not looking at your work. You're you're in your mind. You can't you're not you can't you can't do both things. You're either in your mind or you're looking at your work. You can't be in both places. You're either you're either looking at your work and you're creating your work, or you're stuck in your mind trying to resolve some some bullshit thing in your mind. You know, some something that's pressing you. And I know because a lot, a lot of artists talk to me about it. They're like, how do you deal with it? How do you deal with, with not being able to show up and, 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 and get to work? And I always, I always know there's, a, there's an anxiety happening that's not allowing you to work. I, 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 I am not, I'm not a doctor or anything. I just, I've been doing this for so many years that now I've figured out what it is. Like I've finally been able to put my finger on it. I used to think it was so many other things, you know. Oh, the painting style and this and that. There's days that you're going to wake up. I don't care how many years you've been painting. You're going to wake up and you're going to think that you don't know what you're doing. That you don't know how to paint. That you don't know how to paint and you don't trust yourself. And I want to tell you, if you have days like that, it's okay. Don't, don't, don't feel bad about it. You're just you have, you're experiencing some sort of anxiety. Most likely, you're experiencing some sort of anxiety, and it's preventing you from seeing how great you are. Because you're trying to rush through whatever you're doing. You see, the reality is that you don't want to do it because you're you're not trusting yourself. So you're you're trying to you're trying to swallow it, but artwork doesn't happen that way. And now it's coming from a person. It's coming from a person that understands that speed is very important. But speed not in a desperate way, but in an authentic way. And you cannot be authentic when you're painting if you're in your head. It doesn't happen that way. And I'm able to recognize that from time to time. You know, when I when I get out of it, meaning when I when I lose myself, I need to get back to myself. Have to stay in art, not drama, exactly. Have to get out of your head. 
I'm able to recognize that when I, when I, when I lose myself, because I do lose myself from time to time. You know, I know, I know some, some artists out there think that, that I, I got it figured out, but I don't. I don't have it figured out. I'm, I'm learning as I'm going. And I realize that, that I, I too lose myself from time to time. And, and what happens is, is that you lose certainty. When you lose yourself, you lose certainty. All of a sudden, you stop trusting yourself. You're moving faster than you need to. You're, you're ahead of yourself. And there's only one reason why you're ahead of yourself. It's because you don't want to do it. And you need to force yourself however you can. I don't know. Some people meditate, whatever. For me, painting itself is meditation because it forces myself to get back to the original state. Oh, thank you. To get back to the original state. The original state of a human being is out of his head. No one lives in their mind, guys. It, it's, 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 it's a, it's a sad thing to live in your mind. No one lives in their mind. We live through action. If we don't even live through action, we just live by being, right? But action is a, is, is an important part of being. Just like no action, but not, not in the mind. In the mind, every time, we, every time we're in the mind, in our minds, we tend to, 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 pull, to pull back. I've expressed this before. This is why people that, that are learning how to paint, they go like this. They're afraid. They're scratching the surface. They're afraid. They don't really commit to it. They don't commit to it with a brush. You know, there's no commitment. Okay, one is because they don't know what they're doing. It's okay, you're learning. But if you know what you're doing and you're still doing that kind of stuff, it's because you're in your mind. You're not, you're not committing. You're not committing. You're, you're, you're trying to get ahead. And I hope that someone gets what I'm trying to say if you're going through that so that you can get out of it. Because I know that this this has happened to me often enough. For years, it's happened to me, and I'm and I finally have been able to to realize what's going on, and more importantly, how to how to get out of it. And there's only one way to get out of it, guys, and it's through no thinking, through no thinking. And and how do you get to no, to no thinking? You slow everything down. See, when you having when you, when you're going through experiencing some sort of anxiety. What happens is that you're, you're going like this. You're like, oh man, it's not coming out. Oh, okay. You're, you're moving like that. You're, you're, it's, it's a desperation. And that creates, that creates a, a, a level of uncertainty, right? You're, not, you're no longer trusting yourself. But when you slow everything down, coming, I'm saying this, guys, although I love painting fast, but I love painting fast when I'm not thinking. When I'm thinking, I know I need to slow down. I need to just drop everything, right? Slow everything down. You slow everything down. Look. Look what I'm doing. I slow everything down, and I don't remove my brush from the canvas. Because every time that I remove my brush from the canvas, I'm going to be, I'm going to be tempted, okay? Tempted to... to uh, to judge what I'm doing because I'm going to be stepping back. I don't want to step back. Okay, this this is not a time for when when you're going through something like that for through through artist block. It's not time to play defense. You got to play offense. Okay, defense is is the thing that got you in there. Defense is thinking. It's time to play offense. You have to you have to be in the in the offensive. You have to you have to stay with the brush on the canvas, but slowly. But you have to continue to move. Okay? Slowly doesn't mean that you do this and then you step back and you start looking at it. That's no action. Slowly means that you're painting, but you're moving slowly. You're turning the brush. So you need to get back into the present moment awareness. You need to get back into being fully in there. Okay? You need to get back. I don't know, however you want to call it. I learned, I, I learned to call it present moment awareness. 
what, what, however you want to call it, it doesn't matter. Being fully there, the zone. This is not inspiration. Inspiration comes out of this. Inspiration is born out of present moment awareness. But you need to get back to it. And this is one way that you get back into it. I don't know any other way. I wish I did. I guess I don't wish because I already know this way. <laughs> and it comes out of simply... St you, start, see, you start to fall in love with it again. You start to enjoy it. Because you're there. You start to enjoy it. You start to fall in love with it again. And every time that you, that you do that, that you leave that place of, of, of presence when you're painting, every time that you leave, the way back in there is to go very slow, but continue to move. What happens is that all you're really doing is that you're focusing your, your, your attention back into the thing that matters. Which is your artwork, not your mind. You're moving back into the thing that matters. What matters is what matters in this moment. Not, not later, not tomorrow. What matters is what you're doing right now. It doesn't matter if you're cooking or you're watching this or you're painting. What matters is what matters. It's what you have in front of your hands. It's the only thing that matters. And then you can move and then something else matters. But right now, this is the only thing that matters. Thank you so much. This is not acrylic, this is oil. So, those of you who are, are, have gone through this or understand what I'm talking about, when you have a bit of anxiety or you're, you feel like you don't have, um, uh, what do they call it? Uh, in, you don't feel inspired or you have artist block, I, I want to tell you it's okay don't don't feel bad. I, I understand this. I understand this deal. I've been doing it for over 20 years. I understand what it is. Nine out of ten chances you're getting ahead of yourself because because you're in your mind and so you're you're not you're trying to avoid in, be painting and you're in your head, you're in the drama. You have to you have to get out of it by being very slow. Like slow down again. Slow down. And then, and then the, the the speed. Don't worry about the speed. Don't worry about 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 being right. Don't worry if you only have if you only have thirty minutes to paint in your studio. That's all you have left. Honor those thirty minutes. Honor every every second of it. And watch watch yourself come back to to a, a place where where all of a sudden it's almost like time starts helping you. But it's it's almost it's impossible to do. It feels impossible to do, anyways, if you don't slow down first. Thank you so much, Jim. Sí, claro que sí. Ahorita les voy a mostrar la paleta. Esos son eucalyptus trees, son árboles de eucalipto en la tradición impresionista californiana. And there's no wrong or right way of doing it, you know. After after you regain uh, uh, awareness again, you regain um, attention. Is really what you're trying to regain in order to get out of your mind. After you regain attention, you you all of a sudden you you know what to do. You you know exactly what to do because you've you've regained attention. See, you don't know what to do when you don't have attention. You're lost. I don't care how many years you've been painting, you're lost. 
It's only when you regain attention that you actually know what to do again. That's why that's why Degas used to say the the famous painter Edgar Degas, the one who painted the uh, the ballerinas, he used to say only when you don't know what you're doing is that you're actually doing something right. What he was referring to is only when you're not in your head. That's why he said. That's what he said. That's why he said only only painting is very easy when when you don't know how to, and it's very difficult when you do. Meaning. It's very easy when you when you're not in your head, when you don't know how to, when you it doesn't matter how many years you've been painting, it's very easy to do when you tell yourself when you get out of your head, right? When you get out of your head, it's extremely easy to paint. But when you're constantly in your head, you're ramming yourself against the wall, it's very difficult to paint. Edgar Degas had already achieved a high level of of uh, awareness through painting. He he in my in my in my judgment, he had, he had reached a form of enlightenment through painting, a sense of enlightenment through painting. And I think it's, it's, not a, it's, not a, it's not to say that he was like that in his life or whatever, but through painting he was. I'm sure of it because of the insights that he was talking to us about. It was a form of enlightenment. It was, a, it, was a, it was a massive realization to know that only when you don't know what you're doing, you're actually doing something well. It was a massive realization. So here's my palette, guys. I have soft mixing white. I have phthalo blue, viridian, or phthalo green. You can use both. I have pale yellow cadmium. This is cad yellow. If I'm not mistaken, let me see if it's cad yellow. Yeah, that's cad yellow, pale. This is cad red, deep red. I like to use deep red. This is dioxazin purple. And this is, uh, this is magenta. I love using magenta. This is Mars black. I love using Mars black for my outlines and my, my, my first drawings. It's, it's very creamy and I just, I love using it. Cool Wave 3000 says it's difficult to do anything when you're in your head. Yeah, it's it's almost impossible to do anything. It's almost impossible to do anything. And and I, I believe that this is the, the root of artist block. The root of artist block is constantly being in your mind and 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 you're in your mind, you're not paying attention. You know, that's why in class in school when we we're little, the teacher used to be like where is your head? Where are you? You're not here, right? You're not here. You're in La La Land or you're you're gone. And and it's true. You weren't there. Your body was there, but your mind was who the fuck knows where. <laughs> Action. Yeah, totally. Action. As, as Picasso said, right? The fundamental key to any success is action. Action. But I've noticed too that even when you're in your head, even when you're trying to create action, you still you still may not be able to get out of it. And and I believe that the reason why you don't get out of it, even if you're creating action, is because is because you're not creating attention. It can't just be action. It's got to be a attentive action. It's a it's a different quality of action. It's attentive action, and that I believe you start gaining it when you start going very slow first. You have you have to you have to you have to shrink it down. You have to you have to, you have to calm down, you know, and then you start gaining the speed that you want or the speed that is necessary. This is something that's focus exactly. Focus is the right word. Attentive action is, is focus. You know, you're not just trying to create the painting. You're actually you're actually enjoying every brushstroke. You're, you're paying close attention, you're focused in every brushstroke, and that's what starts getting you the results that you want. That, that, that doesn't mean that because you do that, all of a sudden you're going to start painting like Da Vinci. What that means is that because you do that, you're going to paint, you're going to be the, your best self. You're going to be your best self. You're going to, be, you're, you're going to start showing the best, the best, uh, the best part of you. Oh, de nada. Un placer, como no. Un placer, un placer, de, un placer mostrar los colores. Y, y la paleta no la ensucié mucho esta vez. La mayoría de las veces la ensucio demasiado. Y me gusta, pero me gusta ensuciarla. 
puesto que se, se mezclan más colores, ¿no? Este, no le hace que algunos sean, sean oscuros o sean uh, uh, no oscuros. ¿Cuál es la palabra? Este, sucios les llaman, ¿no? Que tienen mucho café o tienen mucho gris. Este, eso, eso me gusta utilizarlo también en el cuadro. So I was showing off my Spanish right there for, for Spanish speaking uh, peeps on Instagram. So there you guys have it. Thank you so much. I appreciate you guys hanging out with me. My name is Jose Trujillo. I'm the world's greatest living artist. Yeah. All right, guys. Take care. All right. I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.